Hello, everyone. Let me just get a little bit comfortable here. Uh, strap yourselves in. <laughs> just trying to find the comfortable spot. Who would have thought that the charming and handsome boy that you met at your boss's wife's birthday drinks would be the man that you have married today? Yeah, that's pretty comfortable. <laughs> Walk over, yeah? No, not so much. Yeah, good, good, good. Not long after, Kate made me promise not to tell the rest of the family about the late night date she was going on with Adam. Kate is going for a two hour long walk, Mum would say, knowing just how little exercise Kate had ever endured. <laughs> Speak first. <laughs> Rebecca's speaking first. Okay, I'm going to be serious, very serious chat about my beautiful girl, Kate Wendy Forrett. First time I've said it. <laughs> we were young parents, and it was around seven months after a mum and dad got married. <laughs> it's my turn, Andrew. No, Kate was born quite prematurely. She actually was. <laughs> Tonight we stand here so proud of the beautiful human that you are. Now, let's get into it. Adam, known to many in this room, is a man that is always right. <laughs> Just like the Encyclopedia Britannica, he has a knack for knowing three more pages than most books. <laughs> It didn't take long for me to see Adam's beautiful, kind and caring nature that had drawn Kate in. To put it simply, Ads, I couldn't have handpicked a better life partner for my sister. You are patient, you are kind, you are funny, but the best part of all is that you unconditionally love my best friend, Kate. You are one lucky boy to be the one that gets to spend the rest of their life loving Kate. You are two of my most favourite people in the whole entire world. And I, along with everyone here tonight, feel so lucky to have you both in my life. So let's raise a glass to Kate and Adam and a lifetime of love and happiness. Cheers. Kate and Adam. My favorite pair of jeans. Good afternoon, family and friends. Welcome to the gorgeous Cottesloe Civic Centre on this glorious Saturday. So Adam came along, uh, fitted into our family beautifully, to be honest. There's no secret also that I am a ha uh, I'm a hopeless handyman. Um, but it is handy uh, having Adam uh, being a sparky, so um, thank you for that. We There's... like him for more reasons. Yeah, we time. like him, yeah. <laughs> I remember hoping you were everything. You were like lightning. You were the turn on the century. You were the reason in hindsight. All in all, um, he, uh, seriously, Adam, we, we, we do love you, mate, and welcome to the Brand Clan. I have now known Kate for the better part of six years. And it makes me so proud to be able to call you my sister. And I'm so glad that Adam has found you and finally decided to spend the rest of his life with you. You two are inseparable. I've seen the love in your eyes that you have for one another and the care that you both have. You see, Adam's is in the form of an EpiPen that he gets to stab Kate with every time she has an anaphylactic <laughs> shot. <laughs> and Kate's, well, hers is in the fact that no one the whole of Padbury knows Adam's name as it belts it out every five seconds. 
Adam and Kate. I'm so very happy for you both. You two are so quirky in your own ways, and I love you both so dearly. Adam, I feel like I have waited for this moment forever. From our very first date, I knew you were the man I would marry. Probably ambitious of me, but look, here we are today. I love you unconditionally and stand here in front of all our family and friends, sharing the happiest day of my life. I promise you love, honesty, trust and commitment, and to generally make your life more interesting. Together I know we can accomplish the life we dream of both living. I love you. I remember hoping you were everything You were like lightning You were the turn of the century You were the reason in hindsight I woke up Now whenever you're around I'm seeing you but I can't You're in Alabama, ain't mm -hmm. Now, to the most important person in this room My wife Kate Wendy Orrit you are my rock, you are my best friend. You mean everything to me. I love you so much, Kate, and I truly appreciate everything you do for me. It is with that said, it is now my great pleasure to officially pronounce you as husband and wife.